Sunday morning, it's sunny outside, and I just got back from the thrift store. It's going to be a good week. We're going to start things off by showing you what I picked up today, and some of the stuff is from the other day, but pretty much all today. All right, so starting, starting off, uh, I picked this up at the bins. This is an REI day pack and super light. Um, it's more than just a backpack. It's like designed for backpacking, hiking, camping. So it's really light. That means I got it at the outlet and it was probably like a dollar or less because it was by the pound. Next up, we have a couple pair of women's Merrells. And uh, these are the navy blue Lorelei or Lorelei. It's kind of like a Mary Jane mesh slip-on. These were probably worn once. And then the same with these. A uh, similar model, but they are zip. And they are like a black leather and suede. Also very clean. Uh, these picked up. I picked these up at Goodwill today on a 50% off sale because I saw them a couple times but they wanted ten dollars for these Under Armors these are the micro G um, I have to look up and find out what exact model they are but these are women's shoes I got these for five bucks so those were uh, those were a pretty good find this two both of these shoes are athletic wear I believe these are like martial arts you can tell they have the sole is split into two pieces so that it it will flex really well and they're just slip on adidas they kind of look like driving shoes almost but uh they're actually for martial arts and the other pair of adidas are wrestling shoes now these were 9.99 and i actually used a 30% off coupon on the rest of the stuff that wasn't a tag sale. So I did pay like six bucks for these, but they were in pretty good shape. And the last pair of ASICS wrestling shoes I picked up sold really pretty good and pretty quickly. Okay, next up we have a pair of women's Air Max. Now, <laughs> I'm embarrassed because I... I don't remember if these are the 95 or the 99s. I'm not real familiar with the different models of Air Maxes. However, I do know that this model of Air Max that kind of has like the multiple pattern, the stripes going down, these always do really well. And I haven't seen this colorway before. It's like that gray suede with the kind of tennis ball yellow. And really, I mean, the soles are kind of dirty, but besides that, these are in really good shape. Um, I can clean these up real quick and then they and they'll sell pretty good um I have to look it up by the number though I found these in the women's section but they are a five and a half so they could be boys I think that they might be boys um and maybe but with a lot of boys Nikes women will buy those shoes if they can't find what they want or if they want that colorway uh, next up is just a pair of women's Asics GT 2000s. Now I paid two two bucks for these. Um, they're a little dirty, but you know Asics do well. Typically, you want to get the Asics that actually have the gel cushions in the back. That kind of separates the mid level from the upper levels. So just something to be on the lookout for. Okay, now I'm not sure if this pair of shoes is custom or if it was like a limited release because the they're Adidas, but they have a they have like a engraved thing there and on the side it's actually stitched on the strap on the, the stripes it says life's good. Black and pink, good condition. Um, I paid six bucks for these because they were ten, and I just used my thirty percent off coupon. But the condition-wise, and because it also has the extra engraving, I expect that these will actually do pretty good. So we'll see what happens there. Uh, the last pair of shoes I got to show you. This is the first time finding this brand, and I did post it on my Instagram the other day. 
this uh these shoes are ted baker london's they have like the real kind of it's like a pointed round toe with just the two eye um <laughs> they kind of look like this old it's like a mixture of like old school colony type shoes with you know a modern twist these will uh these should do well now i only paid five bucks for these well right around they wanted eight and i used a coupon so 30 percent off eight uh comps looked really well these are in great condition you can see they like they still have the tread so and it's also a 42 and a half so it's a it's a decent size um i'm excited to see how those do all right so that's it for the shoes sorry i'm like all over the place because i'm trying to use this mic because i know the sound is better okay so into the hard goods normally i sell polaroids a lot and normally when i sell polaroids it is the 600 the one step close up and those always every time i list one they, it sells within 10 to 20 minutes and it's almost always the same customer it's like one of my only repeat customers now these two it's the same style the same brand these are both polaroid but they have the the color this is the one step 600 but it looks different than all the other one steps i don't know if it's a different colorway different year or whatever but uh the the other one step close-ups i always sell for like 20 to 30 bucks depending even if it's untested or doesn't work now the easiest way to test these is when you open it up like this it will have like a charging sound like a high pitch whine almost now if it doesn't do that that doesn't mean it doesn't work but that's probably the quickest way to test if it does work um now if you don't know or if you if you either can't test one or you test one and it doesn't work that doesn't mean it's no good people still collect these i'm not sure if they fix them or they use them as decorations but you could still get 15 to 20 bucks even for one that doesn't work now this one is a little bit different this is not the 600 this is the 635 and when you turn that on or when you open that up i can hear it charging like you'll hear it you'll you'll notice it if you hear it um now i would guess oh and that helps that this one actually has a light so i would guess that this will do well it looks like it's even nicer than the one i typically sell so off the top of my head i would guess probably like 30 to 35 especially um in the condition and that it's working so we'll see how that one goes Next up, vintage Sony Walkman. Uh, I haven't tested this, but it was a dollar fifty or dollar forty, and it's real easy. Throw some batteries in, throw a cassette in there, and see if it plays. Um, I probably it doesn't have headphones, so I probably won't send this one into Amazon. This will probably go on eBay uh, unless it doesn't work, and then I'll return it. You guys know how I love selling phones. I'm not gonna like this is the bag right here. Um, I'm not sure where the oh, seven ninety nine, thirty percent off that. And this is a Panasonic. I would say I probably sell the most of Panasonic phones or VTech. This one has three phones. It's got the main one with the base and then two extra bases. I have to check it out, but I want to say it was 30 on FBA, right around there, with a decent rank. This one is actually Motorola, and it has two phones in there, one with the main base, and then an extra one. And the main base actually has this Bluetooth piece that comes out, so that's kind of cool. This was like 60 or 70 on Amazon, but Motorola is restricted for some reason. So I checked it out on eBay and I, the comps were going for like 30 to 40 bucks. So I'll probably just throw it on eBay. 
And I actually found one more phone on my way out, and this is a VTech cordless. It was cool. Uh, this one was really easy. I just had to scan it right there. I want to say it was $5.99, 30% off that. And I believe the comps on FBA was like $25 or $27. So I'll just open that box, make sure everything's in there, and then that will be a real easy, real easy thing to add in. Okay, so I've never messed with anything like this before. I don't know if you can see that. I just saw the wood grain and the overall look of it, and it looked kind of like a cool vintage electronic piece, like the type of thing that you would put out because you like the way it looks. So I picked it up. It looked cosmetically in good condition. It was $4.99, so I got 30% off that. It's a realistic chrono set 247 so you know it's got <laughs> i don't know exactly what it does I, I think it's just like an old cassette player you know you have the cassettes on this side the radio on this side all your buttons up here it needs a cleaning but it really is in pretty good condition i didn't check this on fba i probably will uh i'm not sure it, it might do really well it, it might not really be on there but i checked it on eBay and you know I paid 30% off $4.99 and there was quite a few comps sold in like the $35 range so that should be cool I'll check it before uh, I'll check FBA before I send it in though all right anything else oh I actually bought a TV today at Goodwill so my wife and I have been talking about getting a new TV for the bedroom. We typically don't watch TV in the bedroom. Uh, when we're in there, it's to go to sleep. But with kids who like to monopolize our TV, and we're always watching like Just in Time or whatever, some you know some cartoon, and so like I basically saw it and then decided that I needed a TV for the bedroom. So this one is a Dynex, and actually the last three TVs that I bought are Dynex, which is a Best Buy house brand. And if it, it, it's probably not, it's not the best TV you could get. Like if I was going to just buy whatever I want and not worry about money, it would probably be an LG or a Samsung. But next to those two, this is like, I mean, it's Best Buy. It's their house brand. It really is good. Uh, I think... The TV in the living room I paid like 300 for, and that was like a super good deal. This is a 19-inch HDMI, and uh, it, they wanted 50 bucks, and I got it for 30. It came with all the cords, came with the stand. It was right about the the size that I wanted for the bedroom, because I can just set it next to my computer and either like watch YouTube or watch a movie while I'm listing. And so that's cool. I hooked it up. The picture's good. I'm going to keep it. Uh, and that's that's pretty much it for today's haul video. Um, I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.